Hey, good morning. It's March 25th here, 2020. We're in Curve 49, and I uh, wanted to show you what we got done yesterday. Um, got all that cribbed out up to the new rock, and uh, got down there where I started this morning digging. He's uh, put a bunch of new ties in here yesterday. I have these new ties really they uh, they look nice in 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 the track bed here this is called a skeleton track I put up another video a few days ago about skeleton track if you want to take a look see at it but uh, I go through here and I'm uh, my job's to crib out ties and and help change the ties uh, with uh, my excavator there do the cribbing out and then come back and we have a have some laborers help me yesterday they'll uh, pull the spikes on the old ties and uh, I'll pick the, I'll get underneath the rail with my excavator bucket pick the rail up so they can pull the ties plates out those are the tie plates there there's, there's something else I want to tell you about the tie plates a lot of people don't know this tie plates aren't cut flat that rails actually not laying in there flat. It's a, a one in 40 cant that the tie plates are cut at. I don't have a tie plate here I'd show you. So the actually the rail is leaning a little bit uh, almost three degrees in. That helps uh, both rails are like that. All tie plates are cut like that. That uh, helps when the trains coming down through here that helps prevent the, the forces from pushing the rail over. If the rail was laying in there flat, it would have a great, much greater tendency to run and roll that rail over, especially uh, on the high rail here on these curves. We got a good bit of work done yesterday. This is my what I started this morning. I don't have anybody to help me this morning. Everybody's down there in the uh, rail gang. my uh, cribbing bucket. I put up another video here a few weeks ago or a few days ago about uh, watch me actually cribbing the ties out. But uh, down here we got a apprentice loader and they're putting in uh, putting in more new rail. This is all new rail over here on this low side. We got about 1,200 feet. Yesterday we probably got uh, four or 500 feet of new rail laid. It's a pretty good day. It was a pretty good day. They've got uh, Maybe 400 more feet to go, and uh, we'll be done with the rail on this curve. Then we can free up all those guys down there to start putting in these ties. Every, the orange dots on the ties are uh, the ones we're going to replace with these new ones over here. I, I really like to look at those uh, new ties in the track. That uh, I'm a railroader, and that. Uh, that turns me on, those new ties. It's kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, we've got... Uh, oh, here's an ugly mess. This, this is a, a lot of mud in here. This, this, this was just full of mud. It's no wonder this track surface wouldn't hold uh, very good. So you dig all this out, put new ballast in, and raise the track up with the tamper. I'll come in here probably Friday and tamp all this get it all filled with rock here tomorrow tamp it put about a six inch lift get it up out of this stuff get some good new rock underneath it <coughs> they got a uh, we got a dead track this week for three days that means uh, they're not running the train the mine where we work at is moving a long wall panel uh, long wall from one panel to the new panel so no train, dead track, and we're getting stuff done. We've got a long ways to go. We're not going to get everything done in these three days, but we're going to we're making a pretty good attempt at it. All right, I got to say it. I got a bunch of other videos here on Curve 49 and what we're doing and how we're uh, rebuilding this curve, practically everything. So uh, this is a pretty rough riding curve, and well, you can see with all the mud that we have here that. Uh, it, uh, you know when that train goes over that and that loads uh, just 
just pushes down in there and see that so but we're getting all this junk pulled out of the air and getting her fixed up all right keep you up posted on what's going on here and our work on curve 49 here at Cumberland Mine Railroad uh, thanks for watching and again I've got several other videos and I got more to put up on our progress here and it's gonna really thrill me to put the final video up when this is all real pretty and after I've tamped it three or four times and it's nice and uh, okay have a good day and uh, go check out some more of these videos we've made here